The last 10 years have seen the launch of many intraocular lens designs that promise to extend the range of uncorrected vision, therefore it is important to know the major pros and cons of the different IOL technologies. Most patients expect to achieve glasses-free vision, but not all are candidates for diffractive IOLs, however with a mix and match strategy. Almost any patient can achieve a functional range of uncorrected vision. Such is this case of this patient desiring to be completely free of spectacles, but had a small paracentral stromlo opacity in his left eye, causing asymmetric astigmatism, therefore not ideal for diffractive lens technologies. The plan was to operate first his left eye with an Edolf IOL and two weeks later his right eye with a trifocal diffractive lens. A centered round capsula rexus is even more crucial when using premium lenses, beginning with assistatum and then frequent grab and release maneuvers of the capsular flap is a consistent method to achieve a nice round rexus. This is a young patient with a soft lens, therefore during hydro dissection it is easy to prolapse the crystalline lens for easy emulsification. The tilt and chop maneuver is an efficient technique to create two nuclear halves which will then be easily emulsified using low energy settings. The remaining nuclear half is now emulsified, always using the chopper to feed it into the phaco probe and to protect the posterior capsule. The epinuclear shell is now carefully peeled and aspirated. Now switching to the IA probe to aspirate the lens cortex using round sweeping motions. The subincisional cortex is probing to be difficult to remove, so it is a good strategy to implant the IOL and then safely aspirate it. To reduce corneal astigmatism, the 2.4 mm corneal blade is used to create an adjusted contralateral incision. Now we safely remove the OVD and the remaining subincisional cortex. The IOL is centered in the capsular back. Time to hydrate all the corneal incisions. Inject antibiotic and perform a small adjustment of the IOL in order to center the round wave front shaping a little element with the corneal light reflex. Now the right eye surgery, planned for a Claren Pan Optics lens, a diffractive IOL that functions by splitting incoming light rays into three focal beams, for distance, intermediate and near vision focus. This complements well with the technology found on the Vivity lens implanted in the left eye, which functions by wavefront shaping technology that stretches the light rays to extend the focal range up to 1.75 diopters. The tilt and chop technique is again used for efficient FACO. The chopper is used to feed the nuclear halves into the FACO Pro. As this is a somewhat soft lens, practically only aspiration is used. Ultrasound energy in such cases is just an auxiliary tool applied by lightly tapping the foot pedal on position 3. Nuclear emulsification is complete, now time to switch to I and A probe for cortical removal. The Claren Pan Optics IOL will now be implanted using the new Monarch 4 injector for Claren lenses. The lens quickly unfolds in the capsular bag 
Now is just a matter of thoroughly removing the OVD and center the main diffractive ring of the panoptics with the corneal light reflex. The case is now complete. The mix and match strategy has been used since the days of the first bifocal diffractive lenses with differing near powers, but now more than ever, with different technologies combining non-diffractive and diffractive optics, this strategy may bring fully functional spectacle-free vision to most patients.